everyone and welcome back to another installment of the viral podcast i'm your host chelsea lynn and i'm your host Paige jen thank you guys for joining us on another broadcast um thank you for tuning in and just helping us take over the world um you one know, installment at a time one installment at a time week after week we love you we appreciate you thank you for being here malt leaky baby remember when that old guy was mad at uh Brett for being high. Oh yeah, the guy that called in. That's one of my favorite calls ever. The old guy. Yeah. Like, You're yeah. Letting him be high on your uh, broadcast. Yeah. That's why we say broadcast, right? That's why we say mm-hmm. it. I hope that guy's still listening. I hope he's still alive. Yeah, that's true. You're not wrong. I we bet should he check is. in on him. I bet he's still. Hey, if that's you, message us. Yeah, we need to see if you're okay. We need to know. And plus, you have both pens. So that's messed up. What does that mean? Vape pens? Yeah. Brett's obsessed with vaping. If he doesn't have a pen in his hand, he's got the shakes. Yeah. He, it's like Whoa. a pinky. <laughs> really? <laughs> got yeah. the shake. You, you look over at him, he's just... Yeah. That vape. <laughs> oh, sucking on it. Sucking on that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Dude, like a straw. Um, I got a little story before we get into everything, you know, oh, yeah. before we get into trivial and everything. Well, got a little story. Hear it. Okay, I'm going to tell you. Cool. What is it? <laughs> so yesterday we were out to lunch and... um. Uh, this um, l- this lady came up to the table, not kind of not old lady, but like you know probably maybe forties or something. And uh, she was like, "Oh, ch-. They, they looked very nice, like very like you know well put together. Like a, she looked kind of fancy, like a, like a I don't know, like you know what I'm talking about, yeah. like a well put together, like a well, human. yeah. Okay. And she's not like, wearing sweatpants, right? You know, <laughs> you know, hair was fixed and everything." And uh, very nice. And she was like, oh, Chelsea, I'm a big fan. And um, she was like, my mom is actually a huge fan of yours. Yeah. She's like, I don't want to bother your lunch, but afterwards, could we please get a picture? Because my mom's every video you post, my mom sends to me. She's 77 years old. And I thought that was great. And I was like, absolutely. Before we leave, I'll stop at your table and we'll take a picture. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so I get to her table. It's her and her sister. And uh, they're fr- very nice, freaking out. She's like, oh, our mom is going to lose it. We're going to save this and give it to her for Christmas. Oh. She's like, can you make a little video for my mom? And I was like, absolutely. And so I grabbed the phone, and, and one of the sisters was like, please make it really dirty. And I was like, oh, okay. She goes, tell her your pussy's wet. <laughs> and these ladies looked In like. In the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. And these ladies looked like kindergarten teachers. I mean, they, they oh, could have been the sweeter, not, you know. Yeah. She goes, tell her your pussy's wet. And I go, oh, dang. Okay. I go, okay. She goes, tell them you're hunting for dick. And I was oh, like, okay, shit. damn. Like, all right. I go, I got this, honey. So I got this covered. Oh, yeah. So I grabbed the phone and uh, just made a short little video. And the mom's name was Mary. And I go, hey, Mary, I'm here with your two daughters. We're here having lunch. Afterwards, I'm going to go. And I was not tr- whispering this at all. I was, I mean, this was a crowded lunch spot. And I was just letting it all out there. As loud as possible. I go, At table 20. I go, I'm going to go hunting for some dick. I'm looking for a guy to suck on my titties. Um, oh, God, my pussy's wet thinking about it. I go, thank you for, you know, being a fan and loving my video. I mean, this video was just just balls to the wall ridiculous. How long? Maybe a, a solid 30 seconds. Oh, shit. And I didn't notice, but Maggie later told me that right beside us at the table. Go ahead, Maggie. Yeah, so we're walking out to the car. And I go, Chelsea, did you see those nuns praying over their food? Oh, as I was three feet from them, saying, saying all that, saying mm. literally, oh. they had on nun outfits. There was three of them, and they were sitting there doing this. Well, praying, none, none of their business. <laughs> None, none yeah. <laughs> yeah. None yeah. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> and I did not see them at all. And you know they heard every word. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just fucking trying to be like, oh, and bless the food. Bit, yeah, on a giant cock served. What uh-huh. the fuck? Yep. I just thought that was funny because I didn't even see them. I probably would have whispered it if I saw them, truthfully. I, I would have been yeah. respectful. I would have been. What's that noise? That thing always. Sorry. Oh, uh-huh. I would have been respectful and I would have kept it, you know, kept it down a little bit. But I thought, oh, who, fuck it. You know, I'm getting my titty sucked. Yeah. You're just trying to be there for Mary. Mm-hmm. Right. I was trying to be there for her. For the people that are there for us. Right. Beth, did you see the nuns? And you. Beth saw the nuns. Beth saw the nuns. How many nuns? Three. Three. 
Nuns are pretty uh, relevant around here. Are they? I've seen them at the airport multiple times, like picking up people. Maggie, were they young or old? I would say they were were about our age. Whoa. Yeah. I expected yeah. them to be old. Uh-uh. Whoa. So what? That just means they're virgins or what? Um, Don't they all have to stay in the church? I honestly don't know too I much know, about I need to, nuns. I, I need to dive. I think they're um they view it as they're married to Christ, so they they but I don't know if you could live a normal life and then like if you could be whole and then go to a nun. I don't know. I I don't know. Wait, Rules. I don't think you can go from whole to nun. See, I, yeah. Mm-mm. I think, I think Brett, you have to be can you, pure. Yeah. Brett, can you Google that? Got to have that pure. Pussy. He is. He's on it. He's you're on it. Uh, it says the process takes nine to 12 years. Okay. I knew that. What process? Um, to become a nun. So they were probably in training. I knew it takes a while. What's the training? Um, you're training for the lifelong commitment of, uh, chastity, uh, oh, man. obedience. Oh, God bless them. Yeah. How could you even focus if you're not getting a nut? Uh, I'd be fidgety. They think nothing clouds your... Judgment. Oh man, mm-hmm. no judgment mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no judgment nah. here. Nah. Mm. So what the hell? I Are wonder they what makes always... somebody want to be that a nun. Like they just want to go to heaven. I think they just they just think if that's the way. I don't okay. know. It's very interesting. Maybe housing. It's a very <laughs> <laughs> not uh-huh. nothing for house. I'd rather be on the streets. Yeah, <laughs> busting a nut, man. Oh, not, <laughs> not nothing for a house. She's I'd a, rather be on the streets. You're not wrong. Yeah, uh, I'd rather yeah. be sleeping under a bridge and yeah. getting a nut. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Come on. For how they do it for housing. And they homeless don't do people it. are fucking hungry. I bet they eat good puss. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Oh man. You never can tell. You never can tell. <laughs> oh man. Uh, okay, very interesting. So there's that. Yes. There's that. that. Where were we? Oh, you know what we haven't done in a what? minute? Rock fucker of the week. I think we've skipped that for mm. about a month. You know what? That's my fault because I've been forgetting it. Yeah, but yes. We just all have it. Just malt sleepy <sighs> Malt sleepy brain. baby. And I do have some rock fucker of the week. Let me get here and search it. Search upon, uh, talk amongst yourselves. Okay. Um. Oh, I started piano lessons. You did? Yeah. I feel like you're lying to Maggie. Do you Why go? You haven't started. Oh, no, I haven't. Well, I signed up, I mean. Yeah. I can't even Brett, think. Don't, Chelsea, don't call her out, though. Because Chelsea's fucking do, do, do. And, uh, I think you should just do that. Do you uh, go to a facility or? No, it's going to be at the lady's house. She met her I'm at, a, uh, what's that place called? Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I was looking for fabrics. And she's like, can you help me pick out colors for my quilt? And so I was helping her pick out colors. And I told Brett. Just, well, actually, I've been wanting a teacher, but I've been really serious the past couple of weeks. Like, I need a f- to find a teacher. And then I was even thinking, maybe I'll mention it on the podcast. Like, I need a piano teacher. And she told me, I'm a piano teacher. Uh-uh. I, and I'm like, what the fuck? I said, I've been looking for you. <laughs> I Whoa. need you as my teacher. So, so does she live close? Uh, She lives in where, Brett? Clarksville. I'm back. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Clarksville. No, yeah. no, that's far away. No, it was close. <clears throat> like, where did you Wait, used where do you to guys live? live? Goodlettsville. Yeah, you're t- Goodlettsville. You're, t- you're yeah. taking piano lessons? I signed up. <clears throat> At a lady's house. At a lady's house. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, she's like, can I add you on Facebook? And then that's how you can kind of have my contact info. And I didn't realize I was signed into my public figure uh-huh. one or whatever oh, the no. fuck it is. And... So I know she was probably going through all my stuff because yeah. her last Facebook got deleted or something. So her new one didn't have very many followers. And I go to her profile. Oh, boy. What? It's all very churchy. Oh, yeah. I'm Who? like, ooh, she's probably going through my. And she saw your ass on Facebook farting mm-hmm. out powder. So I hurried up and deleted her off my public figure one and went and added her on my yeah. personal. Where you look a little normal. But, yeah, where I look a little Right. Less like, oh, because I want lessons from her. Yeah. She's very That's nice. amazing. That's cool. Yeah, that's very cool. 
<clears throat> well, should we do Rock Fucker of the Week? Yeah, please. Okay. Call him. Rock Fucker of the Week is Amber and Kenny. Boom, Amber and Kenny, Amber and Kenny. Boom, 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 boom. Have a, have a roadcaster with all those buttons. But boom. Hey, honeys, congratulations. Maggie's going to reach out and get your t-shirt size and information and send you uh, a viral podcast merch. Thank you for interacting with our social medias. We love and appreciate you. Love the kids. Whoa. Wowzers. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, All right. Well, we got so a few things here that we want to do. What do you want to go ahead and do first? Uh, <laughs> should, we, uh, should we do trivia? Let's do trivia. Mm. Uh, mm. Hold on. Hold on. Maggie's got to find the button. I, yeah. uh, hold on. Hold do, on. Do, 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 Get trivia. Get trivia. Uh, get trivia. Get trivia. Uh, fuck me. Get <sighs> Trivi, get trivial. Mm. Oh, wow. God. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yeah, spin that wheel. Sports red. Sports red. Yeah, sports, sports red for the first question yep. of trivial. Here we go. Who was the first player in NBA history to be elected league MVP by a unanimous vote? Hold on, we need our buzzers. <clears throat> Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Incorrect. Wait, can you reread? <laughs> Who was the first player in NBA history to be elected league MVP by a unanimous vote? Fucking uh Carl Malone. Michael Jordan. Oh, Wilt Chamberlain. Larry Bird. John Stockton. <laughs> Steph. Steph Curry. Curry. Oh, wow. yeah. fuck. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I it was kinda thinking. kind of slips by you. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Just, you know, it's just like the J, uh, what was that thing we were going to get? That trophy? Oh, we're still going to get it. <laughs> JD Powerhouse. JD, yeah. pa JD Power and Associates. So Any he word? just got voted. We're just still getting it. I'm going to get it. You can get that for us. Watch. Yeah. We need to do that for slits only. Absolutely. Call around. Uh-huh. Where's JT? <laughs> We need to speak to JT. JD. JD. Yeah. I mean, J yeah, JD. <laughs> JD Power and Associates. Yeah. Who are his JT. associates? What if it was Justin, Jermaine Debris? What if oh. it was Justin Timberlake? It reminds me of Greg's voicemail. Huh? I know. Enterprises. Greg's voicemail? Oh, it pisses me off. And he's had it done for years. It's still on there. I know. And if you call his, his voicemail, he'll go. He and he's dead serious, by the way. Keep in mind, he's dead serious. Oh, boy. Hello, and thank you for calling Gregory Allen Melton Enterprises. Fuck. Middle name? You can Google it. I, I'm just. Yeah. I'm not more. I'm more worried about that he said that. Yeah. In his yeah. voicemail for what? Enterprises. For contacting what's his the services. Thank you for contacting the services of Gre Does Greg. Greg Enterprises. Business? Enterprises. He's had that on there for what? Ten years. Yeah. What's it for though? Like, what's his enterprise? He just he <laughs> just says it on there. <laughs> and he's not trying to be funny. The motherfucker's serious. Dead serious. Ooh, this is more important. <laughs> first time I heard it, ooh, it fucking pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he didn't change it. I but, figured he would have changed it, but I called him the other day and I heard it, and I'm like, that's still on there. All right, your turn. Honey. I think it's kind of cool. Do you know what Pages is? What? Do you know what your voicemail is? Yeah. <laughs> Z90. Oh, yeah. All right, my spins. This wheel's quiet. Metal, medical titles, red. Medical titles, red. Medical titles, red. Question number two of trivia. What do podiatrists do? <laughs> wow. Foot doctor. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Aww. Oh, well, I don't know where the claps are, so. All right, well, that's what I got. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Good Ed job. Salinger. Everybody ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What does it mean, purple? What does it mean? What does it mean? Purple. What does it mean when someone tells you to hold your horses? Hold on. Yeah, come on now. Well, it says, wait a minute, be patient. Yeah, I was going to say, wait a minute. Yeah. But I get it. Yeah, come on. Come on now. She's just a little quicker. Yeah. Oh, spinny. History, purple. Purple. History purple. Where is uh, purple? We Here need purple as a sound Kay. bite. Purple. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Who wants better sex, and who wants to start having better sex immediately? Me. 
Well, the best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com. Mm-hmm. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, you guys, plus free shipping, which includes rush processing. Thank you. Ooh. And listen, okay, they offer discreet shipping, okay? Privacy is a priority, okay? Discreet shipping. So if you think, oh, there's a weird guy that lives across the street, I don't want him knowing what I'm ordering, guess what? He's not gonna know. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You guys don't wait. Better sex is just a click away, okay? That's 50% off one item plus free shipping. And guess what? You got the holidays coming up, all right? <sighs> These gifts will be great. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. <sighs> All you got to do is go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Ooh. Just go to adamandeve.com. Use code viral at checkout. That's viral. V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to this podcast, so be sure to use this code viral to get your discount. 100% free shipping and get it fast with rush processing. Code viral. Oh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Where was the first stoplight installed in the U.S.? Oh, shit. I'm just going to fucking say New York. Mm -mm. Wisconsin. Cleveland. Yeah. And a bonus. Can you name the year? 1938. There's a lot of stuff going on in this year, just to give you a clue. Okay. It was 1994. Hmm? Earlier, way earlier. I was just just said the year I was born. Maggie said earlier, way earlier. Uh, 1922. Earlier. Oh, 1868. 1912. 1914. Oh, the Titanic year. The Titanic. Federal Reserve. Right. Oh, when they just took (laughs) over. Malt took his stuff. I hate how Brett just blurts the answer. Before wow. y'all oh, even what? get a chance. Oh, you want us to like guess it until we get it? No, we've been here ten, we've yeah. been here yeah. ten minutes. We're gonna ride nineteen seventy eight. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. Hey, Brett, it's your dad. <laughs> Time's up. Is it my turn or your turn? You spin. My okay. arms are little. ready. Ooh. All right, history purple. History purple. Okay. Julius Caesar was huh? born. Ju- Julius, Caesar. Caesar. Oh. Julius Caesar. <laughs> Julius Caesar. Little Caesars. <laughs> Julius Caesar is born in which city? Rome. Bingo. Oh my God. Hey, that was awesome, Chelsea. Romeo. Whoa, Chelsea. Or did you guess? And so you're proud? Uh, I was going to say shocked? Greece, and then I was like, no, that's not right. Rome. Okay. How'd you fucking know? Just smart. Mio? Oh, medical titles red. Here we go, bitches. Medical titles red. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I like this word. Okay. What does a phlebotomy technician do? Gets the uh, gets the blood fluid ready. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Chelsea. Uh, yeah, wow, good job. I just guessed at that. Didn't you, you did? want to be a phlebotomist or something? No. No, she wanted to be a radio. Oh yeah. Radiologist. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to. I looked into the to the program. She dabbled. She it went. She weird. went like this. <laughs> she went like this, and then that's <laughs> she closed the book and said, "Done." I didn't want to. I lo- I went. Yeah, I said, "Ah, uh, no thanks." Yeah. So Just, don't be hard on yourself. If you think you have a career and then you're like, "Nah, mm-hmm. that's fine." Yeah. You know, Absolutely. don't be so hard on yourself. All right, let's do another one. Oh yeah. Here we go. Just spin them all, please. Okay. Rock and roll, purple. Rock and roll, purple. purple. Here we go. Okay. I don't know no problem anything about it. this. I'm just going to go to the next one. That's okay. fine. Axl Rose is the lead singer of what band? I know it, but you want to try to take a guess, Paige? <laughs> Let me just oh say. Oh, my God. Disbelief, man. Don't, oh. be, don't be all upset, guys. I think I know fucking Axl Rose. Okay. I'm just going to say Guns N' Roses. Whoa! 
Purple That's it. rain. Purple <laughs> rain. Purple rain. Love that. It's November song. rain, actually. That's Prince. You were hey, saying. Hey, Brett. I was saying a joke, and then you talked over me. Brett, let her finish her joke. You're acting oh. like those well, bad well, people. I thought at you were going to go into show. Sweet Child Brett, of Mine. She's going to finish it. Oh, now, go. The, now this joke's fucking joke's okay, fucked go. up. Here we go. Purple <laughs> rain. <laughs> True or false? Yellow. True or false? Yellow. yellow. True or false? How do you say yellow, yellow in Spanish? <laughs> Don't know. I know. I think it's like what? It's Amarillo, isn't it? I think so, or uh, Armadillo. Yeah. Armadillo. All right, here we okay. go. Venezuela oh, come on. is home to the <laughs> world's highest waterfall. True or false? False. That's definitely true. Oh, uh, true. Yep. <laughs> Well, damn, yeah. I, dude, it's I It's got a swear. height of uh, 3,211 feet. Do you ever feel like you're scrolling sometimes and they'll say, oh, the tallest mountain is here. And then you'll scroll a couple weeks later and then you'll see, oh, the tallest mountain. Like, I swear everybody has the tallest mountain. I guess I pay attention. <clears throat> Just start paying attention. Okay. Because where actually is the tallest mountain? I bet Pikes we'll Peak. get a couple different answers. Yeah. How do they measure? A big measuring stick? <laughs> yeah. How they do just, they actually no, measure? No, they, they take a foot measuring stick, and then they just take it, and then move it up and move it up again and move it up again and, <laughs> until they get all the way to the top, and they just count how many times they moved it up. <laughs> they just put a mark in the sand yeah. with a stick or they something? they mark it. Yeah. <laughs> would, you rather fr- would you rather be lost in the middle of, like, a cold Antarctica and you're trapped and freeze to death, or would you rather like do a hot desert where you just die of heat? Wait, come uh-huh. again? That wasn't that hard of a question. I know. I was thinking of uh, these people lost in a cave. Oh yeah, no cave. I'm not talking about a cave right now. I know that just okay. Say your thing again. Okay. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. All right. Would you rather be? Would you rather die or get stuck? Not even die. Just maybe you're stuck for you know until you're almost dead and you get saved or whatever. In a freezing, middle of nowhere, snow, ice storm, you are in the cold. No jacket. Well, it ain't going to do you no good, but you can probably have a jacket if you want. Okay. Or heat, desert, dry, hot. I would just do the heat. <laughs> you know what? As much as I hate being hot, I think I'd pick the heat too. Just don't want hypothermia or frostbite. My sister got frostbite. Yeah. She was on the news. She had blisters the size of... Yeah, but you're going to die. Can you imagine getting frostbite in the news like, hey, can we uh, can <laughs> we interview you about your frostbite? Oh, Utah doesn't have very much crime yeah. going on, so they... They interview people with frostbite. Yeah. Oh, her fingers, dude. I got to find the photos of her and see if she'll let me po- post How'd them. How'd she get that? For awareness. Uh, she climbed... She got drunk with her friends, and then they were going to go to another friend's house. So she climbed up the mountain and didn't have any gloves on. And just from, like, the mountain's not that big. Yeah. I mean. How many yardsticks, you think? I'm trying to think of how many yardsticks. <laughs> mm, solid. How many football a fields? Solid 200 of them. Uh, that's a lot of, that's a that's a tall mountain. How many meters are, or wait, oh, one meter is a yard? Oh, you're like, asking the wrong guy. It's three feet in a yard. Oh, fuck, you lost me there, too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, probably 200 of those uh, ruler sticks we're talking about. <laughs> okay. Yep, got up the mountain the next morning. Third, you know frostbite's third degree burn. Yeah. Oh, my God. Blisters wow. you freaking don't wow. even read about. Well, hey, uh, Brett, since you're just talking anyway, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> sure. yeah, you might as well go ahead and just uh, keep talking, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah. You want to go ahead and do that? Lean with it. Should I just not talk for my lean forward? No. I just wanted to uh, (laughs) share some tips that I feel like would are really beneficial for not getting fat. (laughs) But they, (laughs) you don't hear a lot about. Raising the uh, glucose levels, you want to manage the glucose. So, like, you don't ever want to eat dessert first. You know, you want to, if you're going to eat junk, gradually go into it. You just don't want to spike them. I I feel like you don't really hear about that a lot. Um, 
fasting works good too. Really good. Uh, and you hear a lot, like you got the all meats, you know, everybody wants to do like one thing only. How come there's not like a, just a bean diet? Like strictly beans. I feel like that should be a thing. Um, dang. Breath, <laughs> Jesus dead, Christ. Up, my God. Back. Where have you been the last? Where Where have you been my whole adult life to tell me to start be, start eating beans? Brett, Brett, <laughs> do better. Come what? on, man. Dude, we've been joking. <laughs> God, don't don't say hey. that to me. Say that to Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay my. I'm gonna pay my. Pay. You're acting like me and you are at home making fun of fat people. I'm no, because we we talked about it on slits. Chelsea. Take it over. <laughs> He's like we talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. If you don't. Okay. We did talk yeah. about this on slits. So if you don't watch slits, nobody has no clue what you're talking about. So that right. came out of left fucking field, Brad. Well, it's a teaser, <laughs> you know, or a, however you want to play it. If you fu- on pages yeah. OF and my Patreon once a week, we do slits only, a little mini viral podcast, and we did talk about this whole stuff. <laughs> But for people that like don't want, never want, have I ever been fat. I said, okay, all fun. right, Brett, let's stop. <laughs> let's stop. Hey, Brett. Oh man, you caught me off guard with that one, brother. That was fucking funny. Yeah, so uh, so uh, so. Uh. <laughs> she said, Brett, you. I know he's like, well, what? We've talked about it. I know. <laughs> no, on the slits. Oh God, know. dude. Yeah, but you didn't yeah. say on the slits. You said. No, I can't. I only have a minute about. though. I knew we'd probably cover what I God, said. God, that's just fucking funny. Had to cover it. Yeah. All right, so everybody just eat more beans. Uh-huh. Eat more beans and uh. And fast. Fast and. Yeah. Don't spike your glucose. And don't spike. What your does glucose. that mean? It means like don't just if you're gonna. You don't want to just start eating, so you haven't eaten for three hours, and if you just eat cake, like something really sugary, that's going to really spike it. You mm-hmm. want to have a gradual Okay, why spike. are you saying what me and Chelsea just ate before this podcast? We literally cake. have no, not eaten. No, hold on. I did the same thing. It's though. like 4 p.m. We have not eaten today, and me and Paige, we ate like an hour ago a big old piece. We sat here and fucking, <laughs> we went ham uh-huh. on this big old fucking piece of cake. No, right, and I was talking to Paige about this the other day, and she said she'd never heard that, oh. so I just wanted to share Right. This, she, she still doesn't know what, what I was talking about at the time. Okay. So hey. just don't eat sugary foods before you eat. If you're going to eat all that, eat it at the end. Hey, Brad. All food has prob- has so much sugar in yeah. it. Like, even your meal. Call of Duty, right. bu- there's a fucking bug in here oh. just crawling. But even the meal you think is not sugary, it probably has more sugar than the cake. Well, like, just have your steak first. Okay. You know, shrimp protein. And then kind of lead into the veggies and the carbs and kind of, and then at the end, you're already kind of elevated your your glucose levels. Brett People, should know he's never so, been fat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean. That's true. I, we got to no, get And that. I heard that through, like, weightlifting. Like, you know, I used to, like, work out. Can y'all see his eyeballs? No. No. I'm seeing them on the side, and they're Oh, I bet they're wide. They're I bet they're fucking wide. They're that fuck. big. I, I have to to kind of see. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> All right, Brett. Thank you for leaning right. forward. Yeah, we had Hopefully a one- that all made sense still. Uh, if not, though. Yeah. Uh, DM him. Just DM him. <laughs> it's like a. Brett yeah. starts to be a fitness <laughs> trainer. I know. <laughs> They're always. Yeah. I feel like fitness trainers at gyms are always a little sketchy. What do you mean? Like, what you doing? They don't uh, tell you about the sauce. Huh? Sometimes they are a little oh. roided. Yeah. Yeah. But uh. <laughs> they don't tell you really what to take unless you really ask. Well, nobody's so what you're really doing. Nobody's out there trying to be a bodybuilder. Most everybody is not. I'd say a lot of people want to go to the gym and look better. So they okay. inject themselves. Whoa. You know? No, that's the testosterone huh. and peptides. And okay. Brett, you go ahead and lean back for us, yeah. brother. He uh, is talking. Sorry. It's the hair. <laughs> Matt, you said he oh. is talking. Oh, dude, I lost my damn train of thought. I'm going to get sorry. that curtain up quick. Yeah. We're working on that curtain. He needs a little nappy nap. Um... Oh, you got something? Lost it. Talkie lost got me. Talkie. <laughs> no Talkie. I'm really sorry. No hey, problem. Hey, hey Brett, Brett, it's your dad. Yeah. And also, Brett, that's okay. I was a little excited. You were. And we appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we I, love I you. I love just sitting here talking with you. You oh, love yeah. He loves. You ladies. Yeah. You kind of like guys. You love us. And sometimes I feel like you're obsessed with me and Paige. Is that true? Oh, I love Shit. you guys. Yeah. 
Is that true? Would you say obsessed? No. Okay. What would you say the obsessed means? That's a good question. I'm um, your number one fan, if that's what you Hey, Brett, saying. it's your dad. <laughs> I think maybe he thinks about us all the time, and he's always wanting to hang out with us. And I know you're always with him, but I think he misses me a lot. No, but obsessed in general. Oh, when you w- can't stop thinking about someone, you always want to be with them, and you always want to know what they're doing. And I mean, and I'm talking about it in a normal way. I'm not talking about in a extreme, unsafe way. Yeah. But I th- on, on, a, on a lighthearted obsessed, I think Brett misses me a lot when I'm not there. I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is what we I'm have saying. a good time hanging out. I we feel. have a great time hanging out. Yeah. We used to have a better time till that left <laughs> turn, but. till that left turn? Mm-hmm. till the airport oh, yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah. Things changed after that. You're Drastically. Right. Yeah. And they did. He's never <laughs> been. There. No, they, they really have. I love he, circles. He's n- no circles. No circles. No target circles. Every time they say, do you want to use your circles? I think no circles. No circles. <laughs> Uh, we do need NASCAR shirts that say I love turning left for our followers that listen or watch NASCAR. Mm. Yeah, that'd be a smart, that's smart. Let's do that. Okay. Let's get that going. ASAP. I love turning left. I love turning left and have it real small. Say like the viral podcast. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Well, Brett, I just want to let you know I miss you too. And I do have a good time hanging out with you. And we are working on new merch yes. for the beginning of the year to take photos in and yeah. do all that. So if you are really loving the merch and yeah. whatnot, because like I saw people want, wanting the Maggie Employee of the Month <laughs> shirt again, but hey. we got, oh, Brett's wearing his, but we Brett. went to a different company, so it's a whole thing. So yeah. be on the lookout for our new, our yeah. new, new. Absolutely. And comment below and on our shit, what kind of designs you like and want. And also eat our asses. Yeah, after you swipe. Right. Swipe and lick. Swipe and lick. You high? No, not at all. Are you? Okay, well, let's take a call or something. (laughs) Are you doing shout clout? (laughs) Oh, I guess, yeah, right now. (laughs) Yeah. Give them shout, give them clout, give them shout, give them shout, give them clout. Okay. Okay, my, mm, oh, yeah. I would like to give a shout clout. To people that can hold secrets. That's a good one. That's good. That's good. Because I don't hold secrets very well. That's good. Somebody tells me a secret, and I'm usually telling a couple people. Yeah. (laughs) And then, uh, but for some reason, I feel like people like to still tell me secrets, and they've got to know I'm telling. Yeah. I will say this. If If it's a true, serious serious secret i'm keeping it locked in i'm keeping it locked in for life like a cage and i will not tell one soul now if it's something stupid you know like oh jerry ate my ass or something Mm -hmm. i'm gonna be like oh jerry ate her ass you know i'm gonna say i'm gonna say something yeah but if it's like a serious i'm keeping it now maggie Uh -uh. uh spilling i used to i don't anymore oh shit Okay, Those let me let me, are let me keep zip. it this way. Maggie's not I'm not with secrets, but with any sort of information. Oh yeah, I like to gossip. If there's information oh, yeah. or gossip, dude, I'm a gossip gal. I love to gossip. Beth will come up and she'll be like, "Oh, she'll try to tell me something." Like Maggie already told me. She's like, "Oh." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh yeah, she already told me." She's already. I mean, Maggie will always always tell you first. Maggie will be the first person to tell you anything. Dude, I always say Maggie should be a fucking news. And some sort of news person, because we'll just be sitting there, and she'll be like, tomorrow's going to be 56 degrees. And cl- mm-hmm. <laughs> she, like, I'm obsessed with the news. Yeah, she's always nice. saying what the weather's going to be the next day. And then, yeah, yeah, and then she loves gossip. I love, who doesn't love a little bit of gash up? Yeah. I like a little I mean, bit of tea, but if it comes down to a serious, secret. you know, serious secret, right. I'm, I'm not saying, mm-mm, I'm great at keeping yeah. them. But that's a good, that's a good, a good shout clout. My sister told me she was pregnant when she was 16, and I was, she's, wait, how old is she? I think she's five years older than me. So what's that math? 11. Okay. I was 11, and she goes, I'm pregnant. And I was just like, oh, shit. I was so shocked, and I didn't tell anybody, because I didn't want to tell my parents. Right. You didn't want to be the one to tell them. Yeah, they didn't know yet, and she's like, don't tell anybody. And then she dropped me off at school. (gasps) And all day at school, I'm just thinking, oh, my God. <laughs> How long did you know before your parents found out? 
solid, solid uh, couple months because <gasps> I even forgot. I completely forgot. Wait, you forgot? <laughs> yeah. What? She told me and Jerry and we both forgot. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> because when you're young. The well, fact that you forgot. Maybe not completely, but I definitely did not tell a you, single soul. That was the secret I hid. I'm thinking a couple days. No. Maybe months? I stretched it far, but it was more than, more than weeks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah Jasmine <clears throat> was just like kind of a little rebel girl. She was smoking cigarettes. She's like, yep, this is my last cigarette. I'm pregnant. Throws it out the window. Drops she, me off at school. She's out of control. So there was that. There and was then, that. Uh, See, if yeah. someone told me they were pregnant, I'm, I'm keeping that. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying a word to anybody until, yeah. My cousin Thomas can keep secrets like none other. And I just kind of admire that. Yeah. And so I was thinking, you know what? That's a good shout clout. That's a good shout clout. Shout out to everybody keeping people's secrets. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, your loved ones and friends yeah, that want to talk to you. You're real loyal. Yeah. All right. Hey, Maggie. You smell that big pot of beans? You smell something? Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, honey. Curve cock here. <coughs> Hi, pussy here. So, uh, we got some shit to unload. So, Chelsea, get your pen. Paige, get ready. Brett, lean back. And Maggie? Do you. For, yeah, do you, girl. Here we go. Uh, yeah, she got a little messy between us, dog. Long time listeners, by the way. Been here since we're OG rock fuckers, but we... Where do we start? We're going to make this fast, but... Oops. Oops. Seven years together. together. High school sweetheart. Got married three years ago before the Army. Moved out. Come back to our hometown. Shit got messy. You guys, I cheated. I, I got, you know, a line cook <laughs> at, a, at this place. Got me. <sighs> got me. Got a motherfucker flipping patties, dog. I, I I'm did. well worth that. Yep, I got a line cook. Yep. Oh. I am. I was a whore, but but we're better now. We're better. I went and had my fun. Hey, she couldn't she couldn't nut on that dick, so I think that's where you know I can be okay with it because she be nutting on my dick. I ain't gonna lie about it. Y'all, he almost got a girl pregnant. I did. It was very scary. It was a uh, was wild, dog. All right, we'll end this now for a minute and 44 seconds in. But we love you guys. You do a great podcast. And we're going to listen to it right now. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, a line cook got me. I uh -huh. love that they just <laughs> roasted each other, too. Oh, they just roasted the fuck out of each other. Maggie, didn't you say a line cook got you mm -hmm. at pickup sticks? A line cook <laughs> fucked you up. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a fucking line cook, man. He wasn't a line cook. He was a, you know... It was that restaurant Tokyo. Yes. He was the one that was doing the stuff. The stir fry. Was he Asian? He wasn't Asian. Oh. I think he was Mexican. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Got Maggie with the stir fry. Oh, man. Those cooks, though, those cooks at work always be getting you. <laughs> well, yeah, they got a <laughs> cock, too. The Sonic cooks. <laughs> oh, oh. The so those guys were wild. They oh, railed the, you? Oh, the Sonic cooks. <laughs> I, I never got railed. But I had a guy finger me on break in the back parking lot. Extra I'd, cream, I'd, baby. I'd make out with him in the walk-ins. Oh, oh absolutely. We were always mm. acting up out there. Always oh, acting my. up working at Sonic, bro. <laughs> it just happens. Always acting up. One time I let a guy, I've said this on the pod before, but one time I let a guy, uh, he was brand new, real like shy, nerdy, very quiet. You could tell he's real nervous. And I was working with my best friend, Becca. Y'all remember this? Yeah, you said the the freezer. No, yeah. she, was like, she was like, she, she was like, she uh, was like, I can't remember how it happened, but she got me up to him and she was like, hey, do you want to see Chelsea's tits? Yeah. And he was like, yeah, or something. <laughs> and so I just showed him my tits and I think he, I think I let him touch them or something or that's, that's why your order's taking so long. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Getting a handful of titty <laughs> in the back. That's why your order's <laughs> taking so long. That's what we're doing in the back. Yeah. <laughs> then there's like no room inside Sonic. Huh? No, it's so small. You're pretty much already fucking without right. fucking. Oh, God, I had such good times at Sonic. I know. I kind of miss it. Oh, Maggie, I miss it all the time. <laughs> when people would bend over, would you like stick a finger in their ass? I'm sure. Oh, I had to have. Greg does that shit to me. I hate it. Oh, I did that to Greg and he threw a freaking dog treat oh, on Oh, well, face. good. I'll keep doing it to him because the motherfucker does it to me. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Don't bend over around Greg. 
Well, he's going to get it. <laughs> Do not bend over and grab. Um, I love this couple, dude. Oh, so funny. So She's she like, cheated. He, he cheated. He cheated. He, cheated. he almost got he, somebody pregnant. Hey, they've been through it, but look at them thriving. Yeah, sometimes you can just get over the bumpy parts in the road and yep. and your car will still yeah. chug along. It's chugging along, you know. Mm-hmm. I love them. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. You guys are OG rock fuckers. We love you. And it's people like you that's helping us take over the world. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Love you. Love you. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Let's face it, I smell like taco seasoning sometimes, and that's not good for everybody. Not everybody likes tacos. That's why Lumi came and saved the day for my underarm Brad Pitts. And not only is Lumi used for your underarms, you can put Lumi in any crevice you can fit it in. Lumi is a game-changing whole-body deodorant designed by an OBGYN to work not only for your pits, but also your feet, under boobs, under swoob. You got some thigh folds? Slap some Lumi in it. Belly button? Slap some Lumi in it. Butt crack? Vulva? Got some stinky feet? Put some Lumi on it. You don't want to be insecure about your underarms. Lumi is clinically proven to block odor all day. They've got over 275,000 five-star reviews to show for it. Cross taco seasoning off your list this season because Lumi has you covered. You're going to be walking around so free, hugging your family and friends. Plus, Lumi is baking soda free, paraben free, and pH balanced for safe use on your slit. Put that stick on your slit and don't look back. Personally, I like the non-scented, but if you are a person who loves scents, they have a lot to choose from. The scent on these deodorants does last. I will give them that. Lumi's starter pack is perfect for new customers. It comes with a solid stick deodorant, cream tube deodorant, two free products of your choice like mini body wash and deodorant wipes, and free shipping. You can't beat it. As a special offer for listeners, new customers get $5 off a Lumi starter pack with code VIRAL at lumideodorant.com. That equates to over 40% off your starter pack when you visit LumiDeodorant.com and use code VIRAL. Hi, honeys. So I just want to share a story about my love life. So I I had something bad happen in my life, and my best friend was killed. And this guy from high school, his wife passed away. So we did this lovely thing called trauma bonding. And I got married, and I thought, oh, everything's going to be great in life. And then it turns out he was a heroin addict. So that didn't really work out. And then after that, I got with somebody who tried to or did <laughs> break in my house and tried to, like, shoot me and or my ex-husband, the heroin addict. So that didn't work out. But, of course, before I figured that that wasn't going to work out, we uh, ran across the country and saw 17 different states together and went to the Grand Canyon and Yellowstone. It was amazing. And then he went to jail, and then I paid $10,000 for him to get a good lawyer and get out of jail quickly because I was scared he was going to be in there for a long time. But, you know, shocker, that didn't work out. So then I uh, met someone else in prison, and then I paid for them to come out, and we got a house, and I got him a car, and our little life was all set up, and that was going to be great. Third time's a charm. And the day that he got off house arrest, he was like, yeah, I just used you. Bye. So it didn't go too well. But the good news is that helping other people is always worth it because, you know, I'd like to think that they will all become better people because I helped them out. And crazy, I'm actually in the happiest relationship of my life right now. And surprise, he's in prison. But he kicked out in uh, 2028. So, woo, 2028. Can't wait. Can't wait. Um, all right. Oh, yeah. Maybe don't date people in prison, honeys. No, just kidding. Do. You really should. I can't stop. Aw. She's got patience and money. <laughs> She's got patience. How's she giving people $10,000 here, a house here, a car there, 
Malt leaky there. <laughs> Malt leaky here. <laughs> how, like, what how, the fuck? How are you meeting so many people in prison? She's got to be, yeah. people, she's got to be one of those people that's on like, people seek out people in prison because mm-hmm. yeah. it's a thing. Is she going to meet her husband and then she's walking past (laughs) a glass thing and she's like, ooh. Spots another one? Yeah, spots another, slips her number. Stop it. Let me look up. It's called something. Yeah. Um, Um, Or Brett, you want to look it up? Come on, Brett. Um, (laughs) Women who love. Prisoners. um, Crime. They they make profiles. Yes. And the guys can post. But you have to like pay money to talk to them. There's a girl that made a TikTok about it. Like prisoners are us. Stop oh, it! Hybristophilia. And what? what's what's the definition of that? Um. Well, it's uh, it says why do some women fall in love with prisoners? Mm. And it's quite simple. It's a mixture of hybristophilia, the desire for excitement from their mundane lives, the mm. long distance passion, and the fantasy of it all makes people drawn to that lifestyle. Hybristophilia. Oh, that's a legit real thing. Now, if you're from a, a, you know, like, let's let's be honest. Me and Maggie were from Love County, Oklahoma. Options are slim. Options are slim. <laughs> the, a lot of if we were still living there, you know, the chances of us dating a couple of uh, people in and out of jail would be pretty high. Yeah, easy. But she's, she's like one after the other seeking that out. Yeah, she's wait. she'll even wait for them. Yeah. She- Whoa. You here's, got here's the website. Like, <gasps> writeaprisoner.com. Oh. Whoa. And it has mugshots and their bio. Clout. Okay, so you can kind of have like a prison Who's pal. Brett just says clout. First guy, first guy there. Are you taking pictures? Yeah, I just took <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm I, like, what the hell is she doing over there making duck looks? It looks for? like it's alphabetical. <laughs> He's in Arizona. He's 30. I just took a selfie. Is he good looking? It says, I'm getting released soon, but altogether I had over 10 years incarcerated. I mean, come on. Stat. Would you well, Would you date <laughs> Killer Dave's Brad? Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. It kind of sounds, besides them getting out and fucking you over, like she said, kind of sounds great. You don't got to see them every day. They're not sitting there fucking with you and grabbing your butthole when you bend over and put something in the oven. They're not cheating on you. They're not che- Well... Well, they're yeah. probably fucking a dude in right. the shower. That's right. prison pit. Other than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, other than that, they're not, you know, you know. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, you know where they're at at all times. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't even need the location on. You don't need your locations on because you know where they're at. <laughs> they have a 24-hour watch, <laughs> um, you know. You know, it, I think it, it it has its perks. But also. What? Why? Why were you there? Did you kill somebody? <laughs> <laughs> they do say that in the profile. Oh man, they're in for like it <clears throat> tells what they're in for. And not only some, what, oh. not only some women like just prisoners, but some women like criminal. Like they like the mert, like mm-hmm. the whole like people love Scott Peterson and, and the like, Chris Watts. He has yeah. a big it's fan funding. base. Yeah. People said Brett looks like looks like Chris Watts with his short hair, and I they've couldn't always see said, it. They've always Watsy. said that. Doesn't it suck? Chris you go Watts. through phases, and they're like, "Okay, Chris Watts," and then his hair grows longer, and they're like, and now they're up. now they're like, "Okay, yeah. Butch, yeah." God, dude, <laughs> who will he be next? That is a weird that that is a weird phenomenon thing that has happened, you know? Because that's just bit. I mean, I don't know if that was a thing back in the fifties or sixties or seventies. That has to be like when true crime became like. Really big in the late nineties. Well, mm-hmm. Ted Bundy was what seventies. They loved yeah. him. Y- you're right about. Yeah. You know, you're right about that. Those are the letters. Forgot. Yeah. Forgot about him. Ted, oh, dude, Ted. Well, plus it's great Utah. for the prisoners. He was you know? close like to home. Motivation, like there's still someone out there who wants me. Mm-hmm. Huh? What? How do we get back to you? No, what? I'm talking about the males, like who are in prison. Like they're just like, hey, you know. Yeah. They can still like have a relationship outside of. Yeah. Prison. So you're saying it's good for them to yeah, yeah. Uh, to get some motivating. social that they haven't yeah. just been written off completely. Yeah. There's tang Gosh. out there. But then you're <laughs> gonna have people saying, Well, they shouldn't have yeah. freaking mm. did what they did. But god oh, dude, it's so hard because emotions and it all depends. Then, then you could maybe even have some wrongful um what's that called? When oh, you're yeah. in jail for <laughs> and it mm-hmm. wasn't you who You'd be the one that would be like, My man's innocent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I do. <laughs> he think, didn't do it. I do think uh, 
gosh, I huh. can't think of his name. The dude. Uh oh, uh Stephen Avery. Yeah, Stephen Avery. Yeah. I do think he's innocent. Yeah. And then I think they freaking tossed him back in jail because they owed him like thirty three million dollars. Yeah. I I'm fifty fifty on that. I go ha- I go back and forth. I don't have a solid a yeah. solid opinion on that. But I will say, the only downfall, the only well, not the only, but the biggest, the biggest annoyance for me, if I was dating someone in prison, would be having to. Re- reload their fucking card oh yeah so they can buy snacks and books that i did that have to do that for jerry <laughs> i would fucking i would fucking they call me collect baby keep put 20 dollars on oh. be, so what's it called commissary commissary oh god i'd be having to reload that shit i'd be so yeah. fucking mad jerry was like mom can you give me some more commissary i want mountain dew <laughs> oh jerry <laughs> so she charged the card that's interesting, dude. Uh, the Steve, fuck, Stephen Avery. Yeah, I had something though. So when I watched the first documentary, oh yeah, wait, hold on. Okay. The documentary, that is another thing too. All we have is the information given to us from a documentary. Sure. Like there's probably sure. there's way more shit that's going on that Absolutely. we have no clue. Absolutely, I'm that way with everything I watch yeah, and consume. For I, sure. I agree with you. And there's never and that I know of, maybe let me know if I'm not wrong if I'm wrong, been a documentary or show trying to prove that he did you know, there's never been one on the other side yeah. trying to prove that he's not innocent. Right. That would be interesting too. I'm ready for all angles. Throw them at me. But just going off if you don't know what we're talking about, um, that Netflix Making a Murderer, right? Making mm. a murderer on Netflix. It's <laughs> it was the biggest show in the world three years ago, four years. You should watch it. Yeah, because I don't. I'm not a movie watcher. This grabbed my portion. Oh, me and Maggie have watched it multiple times. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's um, so good. It's so good. First season, when everyone was like, "Oh, he's innocent. He's innocent," I was like, "I'm not convinced he is innocent." I think there was some sketchy shit going on. Absolutely, I'm not convinced he's innocent. Season two, I was a little more open to the fact that maybe he was um but i definitely am not like oh he's absolutely innocent but he i wouldn't be surprised if he gets proven innocent and gets out i'm not gonna be yeah, like he did way. it no i'd be like okay he, yeah okay you're, and then yeah, brendan dassey oh, oh now that that's a that's, that's a that, whole, yeah that's that's a whole nother thing oh now he is innocent dude it's so the that's how you know the brain's powerful yes because and how easy you can be persuaded into doing something or saying something you don't mean in a time where yeah. you're being uh, interrogated. Yeah. I just wanted to leave, you know. Yeah. Like, can I go home now? I know. Well, that That's what oh, killed sorry. me. That's what killed me. Yeah. About. That was very sad. Yeah. What were you going to say, Brett? Are you, are you vaping? No, that was it. Just, oh, you know, yeah. That's what he said. That was, you're like, oh, dang. Oh, Absolutely. Brennan Dassey. There's so much vape in this fucking room. My eyes are burning. <laughs> My huh? God. It's that Tennessee weed. Yeah. No, she it's is. not, Brett. No, it is. Are y'all smoking weed? Well, Brett, she has, give us a good she has the two Brett, uh, main ones. Brett, give us a good vape hit right now. He said oh, she can't. has the two main ones. <laughs> what does that mean? I'll give you a good this one. Hey, the, uh, I'll show you what it means. Hey, Maggie here. wants to know what it means. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's... Va- Here's what I've noticed about vapors, okay? For the most part, not always. They never have just one. They're they're carrying three to five with them at all times. You're not wrong. Hey Maggie, you're a vapor though. You're yourself. Yeah, I'm and not weed. You're not a weed yeah. vapor. So you usually have just one. She's an Alice maybe a couple. Yeah. No, I have multiple. <laughs> a handful yeah, that's on right. me. And we're always losing them. That's why when my pen pals come in through, get yourself one so you don't go. Where's yeah. my vape? <laughs> Well, when we're on tour, me and Tina room together, mm-hmm. and every fucking night, that fucking nightstand has nine vapes on it. <laughs> oh, they got to charge up. Every Tina fucking, has more than anybody, though. Every fucking night. Oh. I'm like, this is wild. No, Bobby Lee has more than anybody. He has handfuls. <laughs> I've never At, He'll throw, get handfuls out of his pockets. Oh, my God, dude. Nicotine's powerful. Yeah. yeah. You know that? I don't. When we were on the but sink. I guess I've never. I didn't notice it. Yeah. Oh, I noticed Sorry. it. I was because go- you're a vapor. I, it just goes that. Well, way. not fine. not cigarette vapes. Mm. I vape medicinals, and I just vape medicinals because you can't smoke 
the mm-hmm. real shit in mm-hmm. Nashville, and I don't want my neighbors to fuck. Yeah, no, it's it makes, a whole deal, but I still smoke it. I makes mean, sense. Come on. Yeah, criminal. Oh. Uh huh. God, dude. Sorry, I feel like I haven't talked to you in so long. Hey, honey, has been hey, talking honey's, to you all day. Hey, honey, has been uh, <laughs> two minutes here. Hey. When I went to Utah months back, yeah, we were in a hotel, and we were being loud. Yeah. And we get a knock on the door, and these two old ladies are like, can you guys keep it down in there? Like, what's going on? Long story short, I ended up in their room smoking weed with them and drinking wine and <laughs> talking till like, 2 a.m. They had a golf tournament the next day. And What but the fuck? They're like, we own MrBills.com in Las Vegas. Look up MrBills.com. So what is it? I don't. I haven't looked it up uh, yet. Well, that's your first mistake. Huh. Let's look it up. Well, here. I was waiting to tell you because I know uh, you love looking shit up. Okay. <laughs> but I forgot to say the story for a couple months. So, so they just wanted to party with you, pretty no, much. No, they had to wake up at like six a.m. and go do this golf oh. tournament in Mesquite. But y'all, yeah. we were being really loud. MrBills.com, Las Vegas smoke shop. Mr. Bills Pipe and Tobacco Company. Yeah, she's like, do you want to smoke weed? And I so I smoked weed with her. She's like, here, blow it in this, the smoke, buddy. So, <laughs> Beth has one Paige, of those. <laughs> who, who was all in the room whenever y'all are being loud? Me, Brady. Oh, God. Uh, oh, Brady's my brother-in-law. Yeah. My sister, Jasmine. Oh, my God. sister, Ashley. Oh, God. Uh, my best friend, Rachel. Yeah. Uh, oh, y'all were going ham in there. And her cousin, Skylar. So what? who answered the door? You? No, Brady was like right there by the door. We were so, all going wild. We were spank- We were spanking my brother in law's butt as hard as we could with a belt. My <laughs> sister, my sister Ashley's like kind of uncoordinated. Well, sorry, yeah, she listens. Fuck. We love her. Well, she knows this. She's yeah. strong we deltoids. I yeah. Think. Maybe She's, not strong forearms either. Like, like, Maybe it's not. Yeah. It's out of control. Yeah. She was smacking his ass as hard as she could with a belt. And yeah. he was going, oh. <laughs> he was, he was yeah. going, yeah, yeah, pow, pow. <laughs> Can, Can you, you imagine, imagine what those ladies, la- yeah. So what did y'all say? We should say? play it, Brett. We should try to find y'all it. Y'all got the video of it? Yeah, I posted it on YouTube. Oh, that's right. I've yeah. been trying to do better. Hey, you've been doing good. Paige will take vlog footage and not upload it till two years later. Because <laughs> sometimes so I'm she's like, been doing dude, good. shit is not funny. It and then funny. when I go back and watch it, I'm like, okay, it's funny to me now. It is funny. And I'll post it. But then sometimes it will sit there posted for a while, yeah. and I'll go back and watch it and be like, why did I post this? This isn't funny. Delete. So how did y'all get into her hotel room? What did Brady say? What did y'all, I mean, how'd that happen? <clears throat> I went up to the door, and I was like, sorry, we'll be quiet. Like, we'll do better. And she goes, yeah, you know, we know you guys are just having fun, and um, but we just have a golf tournament early, and... You just started talking. Just started. Oh, started talking about vintage clothes because her friend. <laughs> it's the her, most random thing in the world. Her friend was said she like does stuff for vintage shops, but mm-hmm. her shop, I think, closed down during COVID. Oh. She wants to reopen and do a website. So then we started talking about websites and then come on in my room. <laughs> and when I was in there, I was like, weren't they trying to go to bed? I know. Damn. And That's awesome. Yeah. MrBills.com. It was so funny. Just two older women, and they were giving me life advice. And I love advice from older people. Yeah. Because they've lived Mm -hmm. through it. They know. Oh, is this it? Oh, thank you. Did you you, get to the part, Brett? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he he did good. He's to the part and everything. He did great. Thank you so much, Brett. Brett, I appreciate you doing this. What were you going to say? You hear me on the volume? You got to turn it Yeah, I just turned it up. Yeah. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah. We're going to listen to being, Brady being spanked in the hotel room. Here we go. That was a, Brady, you can take this? Oh, gosh, I've never seen an ass get be that hard. And not make a fucking move, dude. Let me look at your ass. What the fuck's wrong with you? Brady. Oh, my God. There's more. Hold on, I'm pausing it. Brady is wearing a viral podcast t-shirt. <laughs> oh, and it's yeah. so funny. He wore that shirt for like three days straight, and there's a big bleach stain on it. Like, we should maybe give him a shirt. Yeah, we'll get you a new shirt, Brady. Yeah. And first off, they're whipping his ass hard. You're going to be bruised. No, I'm not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that would hurt. 
They're whipping it hard, but he's not really going, oh, or nothing. But We'll watch Jasmine. Jasmine yeah. whoop. Oh, God. Jasmine whoop his ass. Jasmine okay. hits hard. Okay. She, all right. Here we go. She's, she's whooping him. Oh, you missed it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Here we go. All right. One more. She's about to whoop his ass. The fact that y'all do this. That was the one. That was brutal. That was oh. brutal. What a fun night for you guys. Glad you guys had fun. I have a lot of funs. I've funs. <laughs> I, nah. You do have multiple. You have more than one fun. Oh uh, yeah, I tend to have a lot of fun in hotel rooms. Yeah. Remember all of us at the Holiday Inn? Oh, we had a great time. We always have fun in a hotel room. We're at the hotel motel mm. Holiday Inn. We have a good time. All right, damn, next call. I forgot we were taking oh, calls. Let's I forgot we were in here. I know, we're what are we doing? Yeah. Let's take another call. Oh, Let's do it. Hey, honey, Courtney here. So I just had to tell you, uh, I have an older brother that lives in Las Vegas, and he came to visit me for the weekend, and he was telling me about his friend that has a foot fetish. And he was saying that, go randomly tell him, hey, man, I'm going to the casino tonight to go shrimping. And he's like, shrimping? He's like, yeah, to go check out girls' toes. So I thought that shit was so fucking funny. And I had to turn him on to the podcast. So anyways, love you, bitches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good a little thing to call it, shrimping. Well, just knowing somebody is out there at the casino just to look at your toes. It's a little, it's a little, um. Uh, Hopefully the casino had a pool. So more people were more likely to wear flip flops. Yeah, got to think. Kinda, oh, I can't, man. I'm gonna go shrimping. I'm going shrimping, and you tell people. Don't tell people if you're gonna mm. go shrimping. Just say I'm gonna go play the slots. R- say hey, I'm gonna go. Hey, I'm gonna go gamble a little bit, and I may look down <laughs> at the floor every once in a while just to see what's there. But that's what I'm doing. I'm gambling. I'm gonna have a good night out the at the casino. Maybe I'm not, hit the buffet. I'm gonna hit the buffet, and then I'll look down occasionally. But I'm not gonna go solely to shrimp. Yeah, maybe eat shrimp, but I'll maybe go get some peel and peel and eat. Maybe have a little bit of those, but I'm I'm not shrimping. Who calls toes shrimps? <laughs> shrimping. They do kind of oh. look yeah. like shrimps if yeah. you think about it. And they're yeah. wiggling. They do look just like shrimps. They're little. curvy and pink. Now you gotta paint your toes to make them look like. If yeah. you got those long toes, Brett's looks like shrimp. Shrimps. Mine looks like Vienna sausages. Yeah. No, what what do mine? Feet. What do mine look like? Can I see them again? Sure. Ooh. We should all say what our toes look like on this at the same sure. time. Let me take my sock off. Oh shit! I got a pedicure yesterday. Ooh, perfect time. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see them. Wait, you have the royal toe? What's a royal toe? Whoa. Does what she? Is, what is that? No. 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 I thought it's when your toe next to your big toe is longer than your big toe. Oh, yeah. It No, it's, it's no. Oh, okay. It's a little shorter. Yeah, do you like my color? Yeah, I love the So the what do you think about my color. toes? I don't know what they look like. Hmm. They kind of look just... Just normal? Very uh, spacey. I love Kevin Spacey. Okay, they are spaced together a lot. I have thin toes to be so f- like such a large woman. You said they're spaced together. They're, well, they're spaced out is what I meant. But I do have, you know, thin toes. You would think, if you just saw my feet. <laughs> what? What? I already know. <laughs> what? Just I would say I have thin toes, too. <laughs> if you just saw my feet without my body, you'd think I, I was thin. And then it's like you look up and it's like, psych. Gotty, gotty, got your ass. <laughs> Hands too. I have like long, thin fingers. They need a naked attraction where it's just feet. <sighs> <laughs> and then I love that show. <laughs> wow. And then you look up and there's a big fat pussy. And you're like, gotty, There's a big swollen fupa in your face. No, no, they would be happy. Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they would. would. <clears throat> I know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, uh, what was the just point? know that people go shrimping. Oh, yeah, shrimping. What? Is he, is he Bubba Gump? Us? He's Bubba Gump, dude, looking for that shrimp. Shrimp, shrimp baby. sandwich. Shrimp, cro- shrimp, shrimp. What, what else did he say? Shrimp scampi. Shrimp scampi. Shrimp, shrimp. shrimp beans. Yeah, shrimp toast. Coconut shrimp. Coconut shrimp. Coconut fried shrimp. shrimp. Cajun shrimp. 
Tahoe shrimp. Tahoe shrimp. Finger shrimp. Toe shrimp. Pineapple shrimp. shrimp and leaky shrimp. Malt leaky shrimp. Penis shrimp. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, honey. Didn't know that um, people went and shrimped. So that's new hobby. Good to know. Thank you for calling in. Shrimping. Shrimping. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. You guys know we like to go out and eat unhealthy foods to the point where our shrimps try to sing their way out of us. Well, not anymore. The shrimps are secure. If you're a longtime listener, you might know I've been taking AG1 for about two years now. When I started taking AG1, I noticed a complete difference in my energy levels, focus, just my all-around health. And I'm all about things being quick and easy. I don't have time to sit there and count pills and put them in each compartment. Look, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I do not do well with swallowing pills. Why be stressed when you can just add a scoop of AG1 into a glass of water? With AG1, you don't have to think. Prebiotics, probiotics digestive enzymes for gut support, magnesium, and B vitamins for energy support. This product has all the multivitamins you need in just one scoop. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a Free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash viral. That's drinkag1.com slash viral. Check it out. Hey, honey. Got a fuck, Mary kill here. Ooh, yes. Dead guy edition. Ooh. Fuck, Mary kill. Kurt Cobain, Jim Morrison, or Brandon Lee? Let me know. Oh, yeah. Who's Brandon Lee? I know. I don't know. Who's all of them? Uh, That's Tom, a Bruce Tom. Lee's son. I'm thinking, I Tom, think. I'm thinking Tommy Lee's son. Brandon Lee. Let me look it up. You guys are I'm too I'm just young. kidding. Brandon Lee is in that band. Um, is it Incubus? What? No, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm Brandon tripping. Lee is... Oh, oh. Am I wrong? Is Not it, Incubus. Well, I know Brandon it's Lee. Tommy Lee's son? No. Brandon Lee. I'm thinking Brandon Boyd. Brandon, Brandon Lee Bruce is Lee. kind of a... Bruce Lee is yeah. his dad. Hold he's on. Been, he's Brand- been dead since like a long time. But we have two rock stars and then the son of Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess it is the dead guy edition. So, okay. So who's the, the dead Brandon Lee? Bruce Lee's son? Well, uh-huh. They're all dead. Not Tommy Lee's son. It says no, he died in 1993. But they, but they They're said all dead, he yeah. said she said dead guy edition. Yeah, Kurt Cobain. What was the second one? Uh, Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. The doors and yeah. Brandon Lee. I wish we had a projector to look at the photos. Well, we're working mm. on that, you guys. We want to get an old school classroom projector for in here, so we are working on that. Can you malt typey? Yeah, I can malt typey. You want to what, uh, look up a qu- uh, picture? Yeah. <laughs> Because Jim Morrison, you guys all know who he look, what he looks yeah. like. Yes. Okay. What are we going by? When they were the most, uh, when they that, were the hottest. That's Jim Morrison. Ooh. Mm-hmm. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. You I like need that? Some more, uh, more a son. Yeah. Good looking guy. I've never been. Don't hate me. A huge Doors fan. I don't hate them. And when they're on, I'll rock out. But I've never like typed on my phone the Doors and listened to them. No problem. You saw the movie, right? The uh, Doors? No, I haven't. Oh, you'd like it, I think. And Paige, you know who Kurt Cobain is. You know what Kurt, Kurt Cobain looks Cobain. like. Cobain. If you would have showed me that, I would have thought that was Brad Pitt. You know, sometimes I feel like I'll look at him and I'll, you know, he's a good looking dude. That's who? a good looking dude. I, These are all good looking people. Oh, Kurt Cobain, I thought, ha- is one of the most gorgeous men ever. Yeah. I Damn, mean, you Kurt, guys never really talk about him, do you? Kurt Cobain is, oh, he's he's top of my list. Kurt Cobain, Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Cobain. Now, Brandon Lee, I don't know who that is. Okay, yeah, I do. It's probably a good-looking dude since the other two It is. Not. Very good-looking dude. 
Yeah, I mean, he's Bruce Lee's son. Oh, shit. Bruce Lee was pretty cool. Okay, here. Okay, fuck Mary Kill. Who yeah. am I fucking? I'm going to fuck Kurt Cobain. I'm going to marry Brandon Lee and kill Jim Morrison. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I, I know I'm going to get DM. Where'd he go? Where'd he go kill Jim Morrison? Where'd he kill T? <laughs> He's got a big fan base. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you doing that with, <clears throat> no, with like, the ponytail? Where'd he kill T? I can't believe you just killed Jim Morrison. I'm sitting in this podcast. I had to post to come, I had to put it on pause to come message you. <laughs> I already, I already yeah. know. Oh. I already know. I mean, come on, it's just FMK. But I also love when people do that because I'll be like, "That's right, bitch. I'm kill." You know, I, yeah. I just fuck with people. It you adds know? comments yeah. too. Clout. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, clout. Any Don't clout? Sh- clout. Uh, okay, I'm gonna fuck Jim Morrison. I'm gonna marry uh, the who is the Brad Pitt looking dude? Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Cobain. Kurt Cobain. I'm gonna marry him and kill the other guy, Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. He's, okay. He's gone. Okay. Interesting. What I love you. Yeah. What about you, Maggie? I was gonna say exactly what you said. Yes. Because I don't think Jim Morrison was that good looking. The picture she showed me was good. I just I don't know what it is about him. I agree. Kind of pisses me off. Wow. We need to put these th- the three photos you just showed me. We need to post those because and, 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 and put fuck, fuck Mary kill. Yeah, and, of okay. those three. Okay, write that down so we don't forget. Right. Because we always okay. we we'll always say oh we'll post it on Instagram and then we forget and then people are like. Hey, you guys said you'd go yeah. and I like, tried oh, I try though I to write them down and remember. Well, we just forget. But yeah. yeah. And and honestly, my the A Leon that I saw, the alien thing. Uh-huh. Uh I'm scared to post it on our Instagram cuz I posted it on my TikTok and it only allowed it to get like <gasps> two views in 24 hours oh, and no. then it had my TikTok shadow ban for a while, so I was like, damn. Yeah. I don't really want to risk it. Yeah. What do you think? Well, that came out of left field. You talking about the alien video. Yeah. I do think. Well, because you said we always say we're going to post something. Yeah. No, you're right. That was the video. People keep asking me about it, so I'm just letting you guys know. Like, I d- that's why I have them posted alien. it. I do think Instagram is a little l- more lenient than TikTok, so I think you could get away with it on t- on Instagram. You think Instagram's more lenient than TikTok? Times a million. I it can just get, depends. I can, get, uh, I can get away with stuff on, oh, uh, you know that we were cooking the other night and you did that video of me mashing the garlic in the mashed potatoes. And we're going, oh. Paige got a video of me mashing up the mashed potatoes. And at the very end of that video, I go, oh, fuck. That's all I said. I go, oh, fuck. <laughs> Put it on my, my TikTok story. They took it down for sexual solicitation. Oh my! Just for me, it was a video of mashed potatoes, not even my face, and I go, "Oh fuck!" But then little kids can dance to "Oh Bounce on the Cock" and yeah. the bold and the yep. and the yep. So see, but I could post that on Instagram. Instagram doesn't get a fuck, give a fuck. So, but then also Instagram will delete your full Instagram, and Instagram will also <sighs> delete your video of you cooking an egg, and then also yeah, Instagram. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's all the platforms, and they all kind of just switch out on how they want to be. You right. Who it depends on who reviews your shit. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. Who's having a good day, bad day, a cool. carefree day? Right. Emotions. Who has the button? Who's who has the button? <laughs> <laughs> who's, <laughs> got, who's got <laughs> this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the leader page. <laughs> oh, dude. that's what happened to me. Oh, yeah, I might get my sucks. first M on uh, Instagram from the uh, hot tub deal. Me, you, and Greg. Hey, Brett. Your first million? Yeah, views. What? Yeah. But on Instagram, I get a. It got uh, that much, and then on Tick, it only got like two thousand. So, what's oh. that much? Views. You what got, does that mean? That much? Just I think Instagram's more lenient. Oh, I can't believe that it's got a million views. Yeah. Wow. Brett was trying to fuck me in a pool. Greg was yeah. watching. If we all wonder, I didn't mean to plug myself there. Yeah, I did. that's okay because I'm in it. I didn't say it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did I'm you kid- tag her? I'm kidding. Did you tag no, me? No, actually, you said not to because you wanted people to think like maybe they're not together. Like it's not a <laughs> oh, joke. Oh, you, know, you know, sometimes like when you watch a, a video process. and uh-huh. you like will see the tag and you'll go and be like, oh, this is just a playful thing. Oh. Like and then rather or rather than just I don't know. Okay. Sometimes I feel like it adds more when you don't tag okay i said i yeah. think this video will blow up if you don't tag wow sure enough sure enough amelia 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 yeah. you're right yep and good His job first one ever. thanks 
Thanks for letting me uh, use you for the clout. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. I had a good yeah. time. Thank you. All right. Next call. Here we go on the Bauer Podcast. Take the next call. Here we go. Mm. Oh, fuck. Ooh. the last episode I thought I'd submit my own little moan and groan session I hope you like it <laughs> take good care always folks aloha okay oh. aloha honeys that Ma- mahalo aloha that moaning did turn me on but it was the laughing. The that you- <laughs> laughing got me. I'll give him that. The laughing got me. I dude, will give him that. Dude. Yeah, I'll give him it that. It got me. You know when you can just hear a 45 second clip of somebody and know exactly who they are as a human? <laughs> yeah. That's He's funny. that guy. Yeah. That's like, funny. Mm, aloha. Like yeah. shaka hands or what are these hands called? I don't even know. Hang loose. Like, oh, hang like loose. the hang loose hands. Yeah. He's that guy. Oh man, cargo shorts, that baggy turned me on. Especially when he goes, mm, "Fuck!" I go, "What about oh. that?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep those moans Ooh. coming. He kind of reminded me of me. I kind of laugh a little. I get excited like that when Real. you're about to go in. Oh god! <laughs> like, <kinda laughs> he starts licking tad, you know? his lips and going yeah. like, "What?" Yeah. Shaking. I get <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> huh? Get, yeah, you know what I you do. I start licking my lips and shaking. <laughs> you guys know what he does. <laughs> Hold on. And the fact that you called him out and he goes, ah, <laughs> like he doesn't do it. Aww. I probably do, and I don't even realize. Lick my lips and shake. And it's shaking. kind of like when your toes curl. He'll start going yeah. like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, don't do that. I can see Brett shaking because he shakes. <laughs> It's like a Harlem shake. Nothing's wor- the worst shake. What Whoa. the hell? Oh, gotta lean back. what's that? Maggie. Oh, just a, just alarm, a, I think. I have a million alarms. Oh, yeah, well, well, yeah. Well, alarm. Let me uh, turn it off. This method. <clears throat> the fact that Brett licks his lips and shakes before he inserts you. And then if his hair is on the wrong side, he'll get on one hand like he's doing a one-handed push-up <laughs> and he starts shaking the whole fucking bed. I think there's an earthquake. Maggie, I'm going to. I might have had a little blo- blood. Blo- <laughs> Come blood on, sugar there. Yeah. Well, you spiked well, your glycerin. Start eating yeah. a little sugar tablet. Mm. Start. You start spiked your glycerin. I might have start eating that. beans. Yeah, start eating more beans and fiber. Yeah. Can you imagine <laughs> fucking bread? No, no, Dude, no. You no. guys should just no. see the shake. <laughs> the shake. Play like shake a, it off. But it's t- like an t- every time thing. To see the shake. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like uh-uh. this is how he's doing his hair. Like. Oh my god. <laughs> One time, maybe. Wow. Oh, well, it was th- memorable. Hey, thank you for calling with that moan. I oh. love the male moans. Keep them coming. Does mahalo mean I love you? Uh, no, it means um, good night, mm. hello and goodbye, doesn't it? No, that's oh. that's uh, Alo- aloha. Yeah. Okay, mahalo means thank you. I think right. Mahalo, <laughs> mahalo means oh, it's uh used to express gratitude. So like yeah, like thank you, thank you for your support. What does mahalo mean? Thank you. What a cool, chill guy to call in. Mm-hmm. From Hawaii. Love you, honeys. Good vibes. Here we go. All right, dudes. Man, bros. What I got to tell is about when I used to work on school buses. All right. So I was working on school buses. And then in the summertime, there was a summer route for the deaf kids. And uh, one day I got called to be the monitor of the deaf kids. So we got all the deaf kids. Off to school. And then the bus driver, she pulled over. She pulled over in a fucking public park. I'm in a city in North Georgia. She pulled over in that public park. And, uh, well, I had to bust it out. And I got, I got screwed in the short bus. 
Well, I screwed in a short bus. Well, I had a lot of fun in that short bus, and I hope you know that I'm being 100% truthful. And oh yeah. Okay, first off, this guy will fuck you anywhere. Bust down, Tatiana. <laughs> <laughs> Second off, if you end a story with, with by saying, "Hey, and by the way, I'm being 100 percent truthful," after talking about fucking the bus driver in a short bus, bro, <laughs> after dropping off all the, he did say deaf kids, not not dead kids. Y- yes, yeah, he we just wanted yeah. to clarify. Thank you for clarifying. Hmm. <laughs> no, uh-huh. he, no, I'm thinking. Can you imagine? Getting busted and getting fired and it being on on K10 News. Oh, my uncle or my cousin got in, in trouble for fucking his wife in the church parking lot in Utah. They both got fired from their government jobs. <gasps> mm-hmm. Did you they can't get arrested? Fuck. Uh, no. Well, I think actually they had to spend the night and that's how they, you know, knew and got fired and and then one of them was actually trying to be a cop. I think I've said this on here. I don't and remember. they wouldn't let her be a cop anymore. Go to the school. Yeah. For so training. They just pulled over in a church parking lot and just was doing it. Fucked and a cop rolled up. Oh. Because it probably happens often, you know? I mean, look hey. at him. They're doing it broad daylight. Yeah. Hey, just at a park? Go mm-hmm. home. Don't fuck at parks. That's how you get a red dot. Dude. Plus, I like to be in bed. So I don't want to. I don't like fucking when I'm not on a bed. A bus wouldn't <clears> be <throat> that bad. Still, dude. Like the woods. That's a little bit. If you're like in the woods, like on a pallet or something on a blanket, I could do that. But anywhere where I have to just no, I have to get up and do something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. You can bend over on the. Yeah, that's true. On the seat. Y'all, just have sex at home. That's gnarly. I used to feel so safe in a school bus with no seatbelt. Well, guess what your s- hmm. bus driver was doing? <laughs> Reading <laughs> books. Do they have seatbelts now? I don't know. I love watching those little dogs at that uh, doggy daycare. Uh-huh. They get on the bus and they all get strapped in. and so- Have you seen that, Maggie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. They literally go pick up the dogs at each house and the dogs hop <gasps> on the bus. So- uh-huh. And, and they get, get buckled up. Mm-hmm. They'll get dressed up for Halloween. And can you dude, imagine so cool. this guy and that female bus driver being like, "Hey, after your route, meet me at down at Robert E. Lee Park. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fuck." Well, no, the, uh, he was helping her out. He was helping the bus lady deliver the deaf kids to the school. Oh, so they were driving together. Oh yeah, they're helping out the kids. To get to class. Well, thank God they made make sure the kids got home safe first. Yeah, because they, they can the still clock. see. They can't hear, but they can still see. Absolutely. Paige, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, fuck. Yeah, dude. That's, that's wild. That's a wild one. It Just don't get that red no, dot. No, and just don't do that. That's wild. He didn't get caught, though, so he's now he's bragging. He's bragging. Well, don't. So, karma. Thank you for calling in. I love hearing these wild ass fucking stories. Call in with more. <laughs> more collateral. So we can always. sit here and laugh at you like we just did. <laughs> and say, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Love did you. Do you guys know there's six states that require seatbelts? I thought all of them did. Oh, on school buses. Yeah. Only what six. states are they? Uh, California, Florida, Louisiana, New Jersey, New York, and Texas. Huh. I couldn't imagine getting buckled up on a school bus. No, because you want to sit up on your knees. You want to rock them. I mean, oh, God, the bus was fun. Go help your friends Mm -hmm. with their hair. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I loved bus rides. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. The holidays are all about connecting with loved ones, and there's no better way to do that than with a digital picture frame From Aura Frames, Wirecutter called it the best digital photo frame. And if you have eyes, it's easy to see why. I just moved my Aura Frame into my kitchen because I've been doing a lot of cooking for the holidays. 
And I just love to relive those moments, past vacations I've been on. I share memes to my aura frame and all my friends' animals. You know how you take a bunch of photos and they just sit in your camera roll and you rarely ever see them again? Well, the cool thing with your aura frame is you don't have to not see those photos anymore. They can just be sliding on your screen all throughout the day. They make it really easy to. You can just send the photo straight from your photos in your phone to your aura frame with a couple clicks click 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 boom on the aura frame all around good time i mean come on that's what we do all day is take photos (laughs) do better and give the best gift ever this holiday season give the perfect gift this holiday season by visiting AuraFrames.com today and get $30 off their best-selling frames with the code VIRAL. These frames sell out quickly though, so get yours before they're gone. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com with the promo code VIRAL. Terms and conditions apply. Okay, bitches. So this is a confession that I've never told anybody in my life, not even my husband. So... There's some times where I can't shit, and I feel like I have to shit, but there's no poop coming out. So I might have, and I may just, I'm, I might have done this, but stick my finger in my butt to try to poop, and it triggers the poop to come out. Um, I don't get anything on my finger because I usually use a glove, but I'm just saying. Um, sometimes I have to finger my butt to poop, and that's not the best thing to do. I understand because it can fuck with your, it can fuck with your triggers to like actually poop, and can get you used to fingering your butt to poop. From what I understand from Reddit, but that's just my confession. And yeah, if you've ever fingered your butt to poop, let me know. Uh-huh. Sound off in the comments. Oh yeah. All right, I'm going to to let you know. I still don't get the sound off in the comments, but I, we've had a similar call to that. I've never stuck my finger up my butt to help poop because the poop's not ready. And I'm, I'm a patient person, I feel like. And I've always thought shoving your finger up your ass would make it so your shit would just get shoved further up right. into your ass. Right. Like a Q-tip. Not, I didn't never think it would help it come out. <clears throat> And can you imagine being like, damn, why are we going so through so many latex gloves? And it's like, well, he's been and, and nobody <laughs> and nobody knows that he's been in there sticking mm. his finger up his butt. Well, you got a shit. Right. Uh, Never done it. Didn't you say Maggie? Maggie, didn't you do this? No, I at work. I used to put on a latex glove and go in the walk in and scratch my asshole. Mm-hmm. But I never stuck the a poop finger button. We have talked about the poop button. Mm-hmm. Was that just they were pressing on the gooch? Yeah, and, and trying to release it. Here's my thing. I'm not going to force nothing that ain't ready. Yeah, I've I've pushed on the gooch to get it out before. Mm-hmm. That's why she's wearing Gucci right now. Saying gooch. Gooch. Paige, started, Paige said it first. I, I, I say taint. taint. I'm, not a, I'm not a gooch sayer. I say taint. I like to say I'm Gucci. Like when yeah. people say, how are you? I'm Gucci. Because yeah. it's just... I hate the, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. Because it's so fake. And I love doing that. Hi, ha- I'm, well, I, I like to do it good. like, well, I'm good. that's different. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, you do that's like different. That. But when you go up to somebody who you're not going to be sitting there doing that to, mm-hmm. saying, hi, how are you? Oh, good, how are you? Yeah. Good. good. It's always the same. Good. Yeah. Good. You're doing great. You're looking good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, wow. so, interesting. Well, so the gooch. Well, you know, you've asked if we've ever done it before. I haven't. If it's working for you and and you feel like your colon needs a little waking up. But he's saying he doesn't want to have to get to where the point every time he has to take a shit, he's got to finger his ass. Well, you wouldn't have to finger your ass if you had to take a shit. I think you're, you're pre-ejaculating it. You're trying to get it out when it ain't ready. Just let it set a few more hours. Eat garlic. And eat garlic. Try different mm. things. Don't just have your first remedy <laughs> finger up the ass. Don't have your first thought be, well, mm-hmm. now I gotta stick my finger up my ass. Yeah, mm. take a grape seed pill. Or yeah. Eat more Fibers. vegetables. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eat some broccoli. Right. There's so kefir, kefir right. sweat. Yeah, and Sutherland. Yeah. 
Huh? <laughs> Who's Kiefer Ke- Ann Sutherland? <laughs> or, yeah. Both. You don't know who Kiefer Sutherland is? Hell no. Yeah. She you, would. N- you never heard that name? Kiefer Sutherland? Sutherland? Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> He's an actor. <laughs> She said, fuck, Dude, no. he's a big time actor, and I can't even think of any <laughs> movies he's hey, in right now. Hey, imagine being a celebrity <laughs> and hearing <laughs> that. And it, like, they would probably be so Keith o- here, offended. Look well, at his I face. Well, he's in the Hunger Games, like the old guy. This guy. You've seen this guy. I just don't know anybody. Oh, no way. That's Kiefer Sutherland's dad. I get them mixed up. That's the most generic looking dude. He looks like everybody else I've seen. Yeah, but that's him. That's Kiefer Sutherland. Okay, well, he's been he in a, he's been in a lot of stuff. Kiefer. He's very popular. Like what? Though? Yeah. So. But what's he been in? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Oh, I forget he was in Stand by Me. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Maggie, you knew who Lost he was. Lost Boys, Young Guns. <laughs> yes, that's it. Maggie didn't even know. No. Have oh. you? Did you look him up? You know who he is. You absolutely know who. As soon as you see it, you're like, oh yeah. Few good men. Kiefer Sutherland. Chelsea and Brett know every celeb and and song. We were saying Chelsea. Chelsea. And well, he has that. His dad. Sorry. You two need to go on Shazam together. Beat Shazam. We, me and Brett, want to go on a game show together, and I think we could really dominate Shazam. Because I feel like your my weaknesses are your strengths. Yes. Too. Yeah. That's what I was about to say. Mm-hmm. You could cover the. Um, hip hop, R and B, R and B, rap. Uh, you, you pop too. I yeah. can pop, and, rap, and, and I could rap. really do the um, rock, classic, mm-hmm. country. Oh yeah, yeah. We could really <laughs> do well with that. So Brett's gonna try to sign us up for that uh, game. Yeah, I will. We were watching it last night, and I said you and Chelsea would be so good on this show. Mm-hmm. I'd be in the audience, probably shaking. Yeah, shaking like Brett does. Sporting events and stuff, you know, when yeah. your friends are in them. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'll be screaming. Brett, get us signed up for that. Okay. And I'll go on with you. I Does think anybody? we might have to be a couple, though. So Well, we can tell pretend. them. Okay. We're in a throuple. Just pretend. They don't know. You know what yeah. I mean? Maggie, do you know who Kiefer Sutherland is? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you for calling in, honey's Next call. Thank you. Hey, honeys. Driving here. Post hook up here. Ooh. Can't come here. Mm. Anyways, I'm leaving a hook up right now. And there's just something about hookups when I just can't fucking come. What's the issue? What do I do? You guys, please help me out. Have you ever had this issue of where you just can't fucking come? It's been, like, many, many times where I've been with people and I just can't fucking come. I don't know what, the, I don't know what it is. Help me out, bitches. Fuck, well, yeah. Hmm. Have we ever had the issue where we can't come? Well, yeah, that's being a woman fucking men. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we've experienced that every fucking time. I think Except it, for this is more of a. I know. This is more of a medical issue, huh? See, I'm thinking no. Well, if he's always, if he has been able to come all of his life, and then all of a sudden he's doing these hookups, and his and his penis won't come. See, I'm thinking. Here's how I took this call: that he's doing these hookups, and he can't come because it's a hookup. Maybe he needs to get to know someone yeah. better. Maybe he needs to go on a couple of dates with the person, get a little comfortable. Mm-hmm. It's psychological, you think? Yeah. Maybe if, you know, you're talking to him for five minutes off, you know, whatever you swipe website. swipe and then fucking next thing you mm-hmm. know, you're 10 feet and and inches in their pussy. It's like come over and fuck, you know, fuck me. And the person comes over and you're, you don't, you know, maybe he needs like a little more like, Hey, hey, how are you? What's your favorite color? <laughs> right. Let me get to know you for a couple days. You know, that's the issue I'm thinking it is. It's got to be. Yeah. Which is fine. Look, yeah, we can look at this too. Well, yeah, there's that. But also Brett one time couldn't come there for a minute. And mm-hmm. it's be. <clears throat> he said, huh? <laughs> okay. Brett, could you not okay. come? I don't remember. I Brett, just finish. it was because you were eating a lot of ground beef. And you couldn't come. <laughs> Wait, hold on, huh? So then you stopped eating ground beef, and no, you could I think come I was again. Eating too many of the uh, 
what was it at Taco Bell? The beef. cheesy, beefy crunch. <laughs> Hold and on. We, we thought. Maybe. And you couldn't come. I'd fucking sue Taco Bell. <laughs> I was thinking. Well, I, I was thinking. What's in the meat? I did lower my uh, meat <laughs> if you from can't Taco Bell. Come, and, yeah. And all was good. So how did y'all narrow it down to that? Is what I want to know. Well, you eat Taco Bell <laughs> breakfast, day. lunch, dinner <laughs> for <laughs> for a uh, week straight, maybe, and then he's like, "Oh, I can't come." Because they were on the dollar menu at the time. They're usually he just not. loves the beefy. He always gets that, yeah. but but not anymore. Yeah. So do you notice it anymore? Do you have you spaced out when you eat the Taco Bell? Uh, I just don't eat that anymore. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You'd rather come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'd rather come than eat a beefy Frito burrito from Taco Bell. <laughs> right. So maybe he's been digesting a lot of Taco Bell meat. Could could be. What if he was like, hey, that was it. I was eating a lot of... <laughs> that would be fucking Whoa. funny, actually. I'm thinking it's more of a... Just try to, try to go on a couple regular dates before you have a random hookup and see if you can come that way. You know, see if you can come after. I'd like to know. If that's what it was, if you need a little more, just a little more emotional connection, nothing crazy. You don't got to be, you know, meeting the family, meeting the family, but maybe a little more getting to know the person. Because you got to come. Yeah, give it a couple dates. Go to coffee. Go to yeah. Um. Uh, so you no, guys think he gathering. can't get his dick hard? Well, he said he. He, yeah. he said he's. What, what if he's beating it up? No, he's he getting come. it hard. He just yeah. can't come. Yeah. Yeah. Which has got to be almost even more frustrating. I would think. Blue balls? Yeah, you don't want yeah. blue balls. Yeah. Make you mad. Right. <laughs> well, honeys, I don't I don't know. Good luck with everything. Um I wish you all the best. Maybe it's not hope it's not pill related, maybe. You, you know? could yeah. you could take a break. Yeah, maybe if you're doing Yeah. S- if you have gone on a new medication. That's a big thing. Mm-hmm. That's a big thing with a lot of people. Oh yeah, depression medicine. Yeah, just so or any f- yeah anything. It could be birth control, making your pussy dry. It could be so many yeah we'll things about. But that you yeah your intake. But good luck with everything because we want you to nut. It. You know because I think that's I think that's you know one of the best things in life. If you're not coming, you're not living. Right. No, you are. You are, but it's not as fun. You know what I mean? Ooh, if you just have a kink in your hose. Right. That can't mm. be good. No. So, what wish you all the best. Doing? Wish you all the best. Love you. Oh, and mm. I love Taco Bell. I just don't eat the ground one. Oh, ground thank, thank you. Yes. Thanks so. for clarifying since we're trying to get a Taco Bell sponsor. Yeah. Right. <laughs> this Go is on. the last call. Okay, let's hear it. Hey, honeys, OG Rockfucker here, slash recruiter. I've officially brought over my mom to the Motley Key side. Funny little story, me and her were on vacation, and we were just winding down at the end of the night, needing something to listen to. We didn't have a TV. And I turned on y'all's podcast, and it was an episode where Chelsea was reading a letter from Letters to Penthouse, the one where the wife was having sex with all the coworkers from this party. It was crazy. I was just laying there watching it or listening to it, and my mom was laying beside me, and my mom had made a comment about how odd this was to listen to it with her daughter, and I'm just over here cackling because these stories are wild. Well, a couple of months ago, my mom got diagnosed with breast cancer, and she had recently told me that she started listening to you guys' podcast to keep her mind off things and for a good laugh. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for shining a little light in on my mom's dark time. Y'all are helping so many people with y'all's content and with laughter. Y'all have helped me. And y'all have also gave me and my mom something to bond over. I mean, we bond over a lot of things in life, but this especially because it's just really funny and it means a lot. Um, also, hey, honeys, come back to Zanies here so we can see you in Nashville. Me and my mom want to see y'all really bad. We want to see you. Um, I haven't introduced her to the rest of the little crew yet. She doesn't know Tina or anybody, but I've got, I'm going to work on it. Um, thank you again for everything you do. And y'all keep on trying to take over the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, Aww. honeys, love you. We couldn't that, take over the world without you guys. You and your mom. Oh. Wish, love, her, 
Yes. Oh. Wish your mom all the best. Yes. First off. Love you, Malt Leakies. Love you, Malt Leakies. Thank oh. you, guys. Thank you for turning her on to us. Thank you, Mom, for just, you know, we love you as much as you love us. And, and we really, really appreciate calls like that. So thank you. It truly can be a bond, the pod. Oh, yeah. Even with me, I've picked up bonds with people. I haven't, you know, I've rekindled bonds. and Yeah, absolutely. From the pod, it's... It's nice Absolutely. to have that and to just feel close with your mom. And that's mm-hmm. so special. Yeah. And we do hope you all the best and we love you guys. We yeah. love y'all. That was really the last call. That was the last call. That was the uh, that was the uh, installment for this she, week's. She said Zanies. Are you going to do something at Zanies again? I'm gonna, oh, absolutely. I just don't know when. Um, we're going to go back out, you know, before the cruise. So we'll probably go back out for another month of shows in February. I'll probably do some here. Absolutely. I'm hoping. Or so. at least in the area, maybe. Yeah. So um, be on the lookout for that. Yeah, okay? buddy. We love you guys. Love you. And don't forget to look at our merch and our new merch design coming yes. out. And follow us and call us if you... Uh, Call us if you want to share those secrets that you've been holding. Oh, I want to hear them. 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 <laughs> what should they call in with Maggie? <laughs> you caught me off guard. <laughs> we caught her off guard. Brett, <laughs> whoever hear- comes up. Oh, okay, oh. go ahead. Oh, Chelsea. Brett, what should they call in with? Um, secrets about um, anything. Okay, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> secrets about anything. Yeah. And we, we were just sitting here being like, oh, we love people that keep secrets. And we're like, call in with your secrets. I know. <laughs> no, just give I, us collateral. I love oh, hearing yeah. just, yeah. I just love hearing the stories and the questions and whatever. Just we, call in with yeah. whatever you fucking want. We appreciate you guys. Tell call us in. what scares you the most in life. Oh, that's a good one. Ooh, yeah. Go to good one, Brat. And, but don't do that if you go to a Scientology. Place. What does that mean? Because they use that as uh, collateral. Oh, yeah. they wouldn't call in anyway, right? Because they're, they're, because you're right, they could use it against them. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yeah, like, them. what are you afraid of? Oh, <laughs> praying mantis. Okay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, do something they don't like. Guess right. what you see? Right, a praying mantis. Mm-hmm. You're right. Looking at you. <laughs> yeah. I hate those fucking things. Look, I just gave everyone collateral. I actually like them. <laughs> you you yeah. love them. You I love them. I love praying mantis. All right, guys, we love you. We'll see you next week. Phone number. Give us, tell it, let's do it, tell it. All right, give us a call at 442 777 3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You're looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready. We're going viral. Get ready. We're going viral.